Hello YouTube and welcome to tutorial number 24 in the PHP programming tutorial series and in this video we're going to cover using the file get content contents function to get the contents of a file and put that into a string so we'll start off our PHP file I'm going to save this as getfile.php and we're not actually going to put anything in here right now. We're going to create a new file. Click the new button here. And this is going to be our text file. So inside here, it's going to be a normal text file. That we're going to write um, this is the first line. This is the second line. And we'll just have another space import. This is the fourth line. Okay. So we have a nicely formatted text document. We have the first, second, third, and fourth line. We have a line break here, here, and then again here to go into line four. So we'd save this. We'll save this as um, document.txt. Okay, so now we have our text document. We want to read this using PHP and output it to our web page. So we can do this using the file get contents function. So we're going to declare the file path up here and we're going to use. Um, a full stop and then a forward slash that's going to represent that we're searching inside of this directory that the get file that PHP is inside and then we're going to just say document.txt so that is going to be the file we're looking for save that okay and now to use the file get content function we need to create a variable to store the response or what it returns sorry so we're going to call this um, document and we're going to set it to the value as file underscore get underscore contents. So the way to call use the get contents function is simply type file underscore get underscore contents. And then in brackets here, we need to specify the file we want to get the contents of. In this case, it is file. So we do that. And what this has done now is if this file exists, it will return the entire file as a string inside of this document variable. And if it doesn't, it will return false. So we should be able to echo this out no problem. So let's just echo our document. And then we'll save this. Get file.php. And you'll notice that we don't have our line breaks. And that's because um, right what we're viewing right now, a PHP file, this is like a HTML document. So we can't actually use you'll see actually when we go to our notepad here, um, it's actually in new lines. But what I'm gonna do now is just I'm going to loop through each line. But I'll show you actually first what we can do. You can just specify header and then in put say content type and put it to text on sorry text forward slash plain. And this will treat the document like it's a normal text document, like it's this. So if we reload this, you'll see that the lines all formatted nice and neatly. But we don't want to do that because if we do that, then let's say we want to, you know, echo out some HTML and echo out. Um, break and then bold this is bold and then we'll end that there so if we want to echo that inside the get file of PHP you'll see that it doesn't recognize the HTML so we can't do that it's not very really practical for our web page so what we're going to do is we're going to create a simple loop so the first thing we need to do is use the explode function from a previous tutorial now the explode function what we're going to do we're going to explode the file by a new line or not not a break but a text new line and we can do this using backslash n and that represents a new line so we can declare a new variable called we'll call it lines and we'll set the value to explode and then the backslash n and then the second parameter we need to specify is what we want to explode and it's going to be the document because that's where we're holding all of our the file string so what we've done here is we're just splitting up this document string so this whole text file by each new line using this and now we can do what we want with those new lines so all we need to do is we can just create a for each loop I think the best way to do it okay we're going to say for each lines as new line and we're going to simply echo out echo new line and concatenate a break onto that 
So let's just quickly run through this. So we've we don't need this anymore. By the way, you can delete the header content type text plane. So here we've specified the file we want to search, which is document.txt. And we're saying it's inside the directory that this file is in. And then what we're doing is getting the contents of that file using the function file underscore get underscore contents. And now this variable document now holds this whole text file document.txt as a string. But the problem is that it's formatted in a text file. So new lines aren't recognized by the HTML. Uh, it's kind of, it's different. So what we need to do is make a new variable called lines. And we explode that using, we'll explode it by each new line and we're exploding documents. And then we simply create a for each loop to look through each and every line inside of this explode, inside of the um, result we got from the explode. And we'll just echo out the actual line and then a break. So we save this. And then we can just reload this and you'll see that it recognizes the new lines. View the source code and we now have the breaks. So it's more it's formatted for HTML use. So now we we can go add our HTML to it. We can echo out for each line we want. We can have bold and then end the bold here. Save it. And you see we can have it bold. We can do whatever we want with it. So that's how to use the file get contents function. You can also use this to pass um, web pages, and I'll show you how to do that in a further tutorial. So please like the video, leave a comment if you have a question and subscribe to the channel. Just click the little white button above this video for real time updates.